Alright guys, let's go ahead and dive into this video here. I'm sorry if uh, you can't see my head all the way. I just kind of wanted to get the good stuff here in front of you so that you can see it pretty well. And don't worry, we're going to get a more in-depth, closer look at what this Power Morpher can do. I just wanted to show you everything that it comes with and just celebrate it here for a second, okay? This is the new Lightning Collection Power Morpher from Hasbro. It does differ a little bit from the Legacy Power Morpher that we got from Bandai. And I'm going to show you guys that here in a little bit, uh, some comparisons of of the two. This is what it is. Uh, it comes with this awesome freaking stand. I love it. Uh, the Legacy Power Morpher from Bandai did not have that. Um, so this is a pretty cool addition to have if you guys are wanting to collect this. Um, comes with the holster. Uh, so the Legacy Morpher from Bandai actually comes with this and they are not compatible so you cannot stick the Legacy Morpher from Bandai into this one uh, vice versa. But this comes with each of the Rangers Power Coins which are shown here and you can actually set them on this stand. It's pretty cool. Uh, the coins are metal. I do like that. I was really hoping that they weren't going to be plastic because the Morpher itself is actually a plastic Morpher. Um, that's one of the drawbacks of this, but don't worry because it does get better. Morpher itself, pretty basic. Looks exactly like the Legacy Morpher, only plastic. Um, everything folds down, hit the button, opens up. It does play sound. Um, one of the cool things about this Lightning Collection Morpher from Hasbro is that if you have a specific coin in here, so say like... Right now I got the Mastodon coin, I'm going to take it out, you get that cool sound. One of the things that I do like about this is the coins are metal like I said earlier, but it's got the tabs in here. So if you guys remember on the Legacy Power Morpher from Bandai, um, the coins like did not stay in very well at all. Like I had so much trouble with mine, Like so if I was wanting to like do a freaking awesome morph, I couldn't do it because the coin would fly out. And I didn't like that, it, it didn't stick in very well the way they had that design set up. But with this, the tabs keep it in. Haven't had a problem with it. So let's go ahead and put a coin in here. Put the T-Rex coin in here. Does a little cool power-up sound. And watch this. This is freaking awesome. Ah, can't turn it off, however. So like, if you want to do like a fan film with this, you can't turn the sound off unless you just take the batteries out. It's just gonna keep doing that. Um, Take it out, just twist it, falls right out. Uh, let's go ahead and put, uh, let's put the pterodactyl coin in there. So to put the coin in, you just pretty much line it up with the tabs. It's pretty self-explanatory. And twist, lights up, hit it. Oh man, this is a legacy morpher from Bandai. Compare these real quick. Uh, the Legacy Morpher from Bandai is metal, and it's actually a little bit more realistic, uh, whereas this one's not. You can tell. Um, so, Legacy Morpher, and right there, the freaking coin just fell out, and that's what I hate about that. Uh, this is all that the Legacy one does. That's it. Um, and if you hold it down, place the sound. Um, but you can't turn this off, so this would be better for a fan film. But like I said, the coin actually doesn't stay in this very well. Whereas this one, it does. So it's really just up to you guys as collectors which one you want to get. I personally just want all of them. Um, I like, I have several of these Bandai Legacy Morphers, whereas this is the only one that I have. Of the Lightning Collection, when I plan on getting a few more just to have, just to keep one out of the box, keep one in the box, that's pretty much what I do with these legacy ones. As to my personal preference as to which one I like the best, it, it's really hard to say because they're they're different in their own way, like they're their own thing. I really, really like the Legacy Power Morpher from Bandai, but I really do like this one. Um, the only thing, like I said, the, the only drawback on this is that you can't turn the sound off unless you take the batteries out. So, like I said, if you're wanting to do a fan film with this, if you're wanting to do a, a morph with this, uh, you, it, you're gonna have to take the batteries out uh, to have no sound. Whereas to this one, it, it the sound can turn off, but if you want to do a fan film with this, you're going to have to find a way to probably like glue the coin in, or maybe put some Velcro behind it, or, or some sticky tape or something, because the, the power coins fall out of this really bad. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap it up on this video for the Lightning Collection Power Morpher from Hasbro. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have this, and if you do, what do you think about it? Do you like it better? Then the Legacy Power Morpher from Bandai, or do you like the Lightning Collection Power Morpher from Hasbro better? Let me know down below. I'd like to know what you guys think. I also want to know what you guys think of the Lightning Collection so far that we're getting from Hasbro. Which Power Ranger figures do you have? Um, and which ones do you plan on getting? Let me know down below, like I said in the comments. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, well, what the hell are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. 
click that little bell icon so that you can be kept up with everything Power Rangers related and just everything that I do on this channel in general. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.